the Malaysian Export Academy was set up in 2007. In fact, before Malaysian Export Academy, we were operating under the Exporters Club. So under the Malaysian Export Academy, the, the reason for setting up the Malaysian Export Academy is to provide training in international trade and export related subject. It's all technical and uh, on my part, the reason why I set up this uh, Export Academy is because I have also served as a Malaysian Trade Commissioner for about 15 years overseas and I see there is a lot of uh, shortage in knowledge among Malaysians on the export market. See a lot of them, uh, they just, uh, you know, uh, by trial and error, they do business. So uh, that's one and secondly, this uh, export education or export training is not taught in universities and colleges. So you need to give them act actual training, uh, coaching or even hands-on training so that you can d prepare them to meet the challenges of the global uh, market. At the moment, there's a lot of challenges in the global market situation, a lot of competition from neighboring countries and so on. So we need to develop our relations to face such challenges. So I think export training, coaching is really very important for Malaysia. And as you know that Malaysia is one of the most trade dependent country in the world. And therefore, this is an area that we should give a lot of priority. And it's also part of the uh, SME master plan. One of the components is to go export to train SMEs to go to the export market. So that's the reason why we formed this uh, Malaysian Export Academy. Okay, what, what we do is that there are a few areas we are focusing. One is we do short programs. Short programs sense that, for example, we do a two days trade financing, maybe custom procedure, we do a free trade zone, uh, we have also uh, others like uh, marketing, export marketing skill, export uh, doing business with different countries. So these are all the short programs that we do for the uh, working adults, for those who are working in companies, eh? especially exporting companies. And we also have certification programs where we work with uh, international, uh, in collaboration with international partners and also locals. And these certification programs are like, for example, we offer professional uh, programs on export management, international trade, trade financing, freight forwarding. We also do that. And the third part is that we are also involved in, uh, in coaching. We do uh, a lot of coaching. We work with, uh, for example, we have a project with uh, Taraju where we are supposed to, a project called Best Exporters Program, where we are and collaborating with those uh, stakeholders and uh, we are coaching about 100 uh, we try SMEs to export. So that is in fact is going very well and we are also uh, discussing with SME Corp uh, to coach a number of uh, SMEs to export. So we are also doing that that's on the coaching side. When we say coaching we deploy our trade advisors to the factories and teach them what to do, how to develop a product for the export market. Now, short courses, I'm just talking about one day, two day programs. Of course, the certificate programs stretch from one week to sometime one year. Yes. Generally, they are mainly uh, working adults, those who are working in uh, companies. It can, it can also be CEOs. It can be general managers, it can be even the clerks. Those depend on what, what area they are handling. If they are handling shipping, then it could be the shipping clerks who will attend our course. But if you are looking at more high, we are talking about uh, ASEAN free trade zone, then you have the uh, CEO attending. So it all depends, but it's between two to one to two days. Yeah. We work with uh, a number of institutions overseas. For example, we work with the Institute of Export UK. We work with the uh, Chartered Management Institute of UK. Then uh, Digital Marketing Institute of UK. So, and then uh, University of York. And I have to remember, 
University of York, then uh, UBC University of Switzerland, International uh, uh, University of Georgia, and the Frankfurt Business School. So we work with quite a lot of uh, partners overseas. And locally, we also work with some universities like UUM, we work with UNIMAP, uh, we also work with the AEU University and some of the other local universities. Yes. For this, uh, yeah, yeah, one is, the, see, I, I can, for example, like you and example, we, we did a survey on 100 SMEs and we found that none of them have got an export department. And these people are, you know, they have export CV products, some are exporting. They use the, they use the CEOs are trying to do the export or maybe they are, uh, somebody in their department is doing. So I, we asked them, what's the problem? Why? Why is it that you don't have a, a department? Because they say they don't find the right expertise. You cannot find the expertise. Otherwise, the only way is to uh, take someone from another exporting company to go experience and then you bring them in. This is one area. So there is really a shortage of export expertise in Malaysia. So we have, a, the Malaysian government has got an agenda to, to develop export among SMEs. So there is really a shortage. So we, we hope to fill in that shortage by, doing, uh, by training these people, especially fresh graduates. They are also talking to UUM, UNIMAP and so on to get the fresh graduate trained so that they can be placed in these uh, SMEs who are really looking for expertise. Another example is we have uh, 39,000 uh, SME manufacturers in Malaysia. Out of these 39,000, only 7,000 are exporting. You still have something like 30,000 plus SMEs who are not exporting. And one of the reasons is lack of expertise. That's one. The other thing is this, this figure doesn't include the service sector. Service sector could be another 50 to 100,000 SMEs. Yeah. So it's a big market and a, it's a high value uh, pro, uh, program. Export is a high value program. Because uh, those SMEs who are ready for export, they find our courses very useful. That's the main, main reason, yeah. We are, in fact, we have uh, also established a foundation which is called Foundation of Malaysian International Institute of Export. And uh, also, uh, what we wanted to do, we want to establish an export simulation center. We want to be the first in the world to have an export simulation center. So we are now talking to some organization in UK and US to see how we can develop a special a custom made export simulation center to be based in our center here so that the students can have they can really uh, participate in doing the trade using the simulation center Some they have mock up day. yes yes and then you have mock up companies mock up banks then they know how to establish an lc then they know how to do the quotation do a pricing how do you price for export and then they have a packaging, what packaging can sell which country. So that kind of uh, simulation we plan to do. The other thing we're also uh, focusing now is on e-commerce. Because I think our Prime Minister signed a, a MOU with uh, Alibaba.com, right? They want to form the digital free trade zone. So I think there's now a lot of uh, emphasis on uh, using e-commerce to export. Even Matre is giving some grant for those who register. So we also plan to set up a centre to train people how to use e-commerce to export the product. So these are two things and of course we also hope that uh, the government agencies like uh, HRDF, uh, Talent Corp and so on, they will also give uh, a bit more attention, focus to export education because this is really important for the country. Thank you.